Welcome back to the kitchen. Today, my boyfriend is still with me in Thailand, and I have some crazy idea after I watched the channel called Sorted. And in that video, is the French chef telling the British chef how to cook some dishes. So I have an idea. I'm going to make the Mexican food, which is oh, enchiladas rojas. Okay. <laughs> I will be the only one who do the cooking, and he will give me the instruction. Yes. But the twist is, he will give me the instruction in Spanish. Okay. Bear in mind that I never learned Spanish before in my life. The only time that I learned a little bit of Spanish is when I stay with him in Mexico. So I know some of the ingredients well, but the rest. Will be nothing. <laughs> I hope my knowledge in cuisine helped me to manage to do all this. First of all, we're going to see the ingredients. What we have. Okay. Do explain it to them, but of course in Spanish. <laughs> 10 chiles guajillos, um, pechuga de pollo deshebrada, queso fresco. Las tortillas que necesiten es una tortilla por cada enchilada. Normalmente se sirven tres o cuatro enchiladas en un plato. Ajo, cebolla, yogur griego. Eh, si estás en México puedes usar crema. Sal al gusto, uh, canela, orégano y agua. Dos, este, dos tazas de agua. Yeah. Oh, where s the recipe come from? Oh, the recipe comes from worldwideweb.lasrecetaselaura.com Okay, let's start making this. Okay. So what's the first step? El primer paso que tienes que hacer es tostar los chiles. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Slower. Okay. Slower. Slower. Tuesta los chiles guajillo y los dientes de ajo en el comal. We don't have comal. Comal is from Mexico, but we can use the pan. Ah, okay. So that one, I heard the word chili, guajillo, and ajo, which is the garlic. Oh, sorry. And the pan. Yeah. So toast it first. Done. <laughs> the good thing of having a little bit of like knowledge in cuisine, I can kind of like guess what's happened because I only know the word in. Um, I only know the Spanish word for the ingredients, but the rest is nothing in my head. So first of all, toast because it's similar to Thai. We toast the herb first. So I'm going to use the low heat to toast it. I don't know is it like high heat, low heat, but normally when we toast the Thai uh, herbs, we use low heat. Okay, so toast. Toast this with garlic. Okay, I'm just gonna put garlic. <laughs> okay, now we finish toasting. What is the next step? Coloca los chiles en agua caliente y déjalos remojar cinco minutos. Coloca los chiles en agua caliente. Something about water. Y déjanos remojar cinco minutos. Cinco es mi five. Yes. Okay. So it's the chili something with the water rest in hot water for five minutes. Yes. I know how to make sauce a little bit. I have a little bit of my knowledge. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. Now this is our water. Yeah. And then I'm just going to drop the chili in. Okay, it's five minutes now. What's next? The next step is coloca en la licuadora los chiles remojados, los ajos tostados, el agua al tiempo, las especias y sal al gusto. Licua muy bien. Okay. One more time. Slowly, slowly. Coloca en la licuadora. Los chiles remojados, los ajos tostados, el agua al tiempo, las especias y sal al gusto. 
licúa muy bien. I don't understand any word that he said, but I will use my knowledge and cuisine to help me this. For my guests, after soak the chili, and if you want to make the sauce, I will blend it. So, I will just say that I'm going to blend the chili, the garlic, uh, I heard salt, which is salt, aqua, which is water, and the uh, herbs, the oregano, and the cumin. So, blending time. I have no idea, is it right or wrong? But let's go for that thing. I don't know. Let's, let, let's do this. I have no idea, is it right or wrong? But it sounds right for me. And I'm not sure about the water, this one. But I'm going to use the water that soaked the chili as well. And I believe that when I use the water that soaked chili, the flavor of chili will be really strong. So I will use the water, this one, despite the fact the instruction that I have no idea what it said. I'm not gonna add this water. I'm going to add this water. Okay, going in. A lot, it's too much. I think it's too much. I think it's too much, it's too much. I will add just this one first. I'm struggling so much. Okay. Uh, ejo, which is garlic. Ajo. Ajo. Yeah, ajo. Okay. And I'm going to add powder in. Yeah. Oregano and cumin. Cumino. Gomi. Close enough. Gomino. Gomino. And salt. Yeah. Okay, I can't reach the the cord for my blender, so I'm going to use the plug behind me to blend it. Okay. It looks nice. Okay, it's blend now. What is the next step? The next step um, pasa por un colador, lo cual es opcional para sacar la pulpa. Pulpa is mean like a chunk, like a big plop, I think. Can you oh. say it repeat the first? Pasa por un colador. Pass through something. Por un colador es opcional para sacar la pulpa. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I think it means pass through sieve, and this one is optional if you don't like it, like chunk. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Yes, you are. Oh my god, it smells so good. Yeah. It's just not pass through at all. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to throw everything in there. Okay. Because it's optional, I understand that part. So mm -hmm. forget the sieve because. Somehow I can't pass through the sift, it's too thick. <laughs> puedes probarla porque si quieres le puedes agregar más sal. Okay. Say, say it again, say it again. Slower, slower. Puedes probarla porque si quieres puedes agregar más sal por en la comida. Yes, I know. Something, something about salt, oregano, and cumin. Okay. I will. I will. Uh, I think you mean like taste it first. Maybe you need more seasoning. Okay. Uh, I need to get my spoon. Okay. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to... So what's the next step? Pon a hervir la salsa. Agrega más agua si lo deseas. Okay. Go back to my knowledge in <laughs> because this one I don't understand. It's something to do with salsa because I heard the word salsa. Yeah. Uh, if it's me, if I'm doing Thai cuisine and I'm making this sauce, I would say that I would uh, put it on the pan and boil it to adjust the consistency and develop a lot more flavor. And I will do that because I have no idea what to say. And on gas. Okay. And then sauce in. The next step is 
Deja hervir por 5 minutos y reserva. So I get it wrong for the pasta. Can you say it again? Deja hervir por 5 minutos y reserve. Something about 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. Boil this for only 5 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, with the power of editing. Uh, it's 5 minutes. And what's the next step? Uh, calienta un poco las tortillas en el comal y bañalas en la salsa. Tienes que reservar la salsa. Okay. Oh my god. I, I'm so surprised that I understand this. I heard the word salsa, uh, I heard the word tortilla, I heard the word salsa. So, as I remember when I'm in Mexico, um, I think I need to warm the tortilla first in comal, and as I don't have comal, I'm going to go with a normal pan. And mm. I heard the word tortilla with the salsa, so that means this need to, after I warm this up, will go into the sauce. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so genius. Yes, you yeah. are. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to warm up my tortilla. Mm -hmm. It's oh, all great. Yeah. And then, ooh, you have like this warm. <laughs> Okay, I'm done now. I'm going to remove this out of the way. Este paso es muy importante. Las tienes que bañar en la salsa, agregar el pollo y doblarlas en, a, afuera en el plato. Y después puedes agregar un poco más de salsa y dejar así en el plato. Es simultáneo. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I dip it in the sauce already, and the next step. Uh, what what was it? Can you say it again? Okay. Agrega el pollo desmenuzado a la tortilla bañada en salsa y dobla la tortilla. Something about chicken, which is pollo. So I would say that I'm going to put the chicken at the center before I fold it into like a um, taco. tacos. Yeah. I'm not sure how much should I add, yeah, but I'm going to add as much as I want because we have a lot of oil. Okay. Uh, but in shaved tacos, I never made tacos before, so I'm just gonna fold left and right and that is it. Done. Yeah, that is one. Okay. So and you, mi amor, can you give me like a, a plate, a big one? This one, this one, this one, this one. See. So I'm going to rest on this first. Okay, one done. Y repite para cada tortilla. Repeat with the other tortilla. Yes. See, I'm so smart. Actually, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I only heard the word tortilla. So I assume that, oh, and the word repeat, so <laughs> that's it. So I'm going to brush in with the sauce. And I'm going to move on to the next plate. And... Oh, yo. Yeah, oh, yo. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> Y puedes agregar más salsa para... Say it again. Puedes agregar más salsa encima para bañar las tortillas. Uh, put salsa on top more, okay. Yeah. Okay. And... Okay. Añade cebolla picada. Cebolla, which is the Queso onion. fresco. Queso fresco, which is cheese. Decora con yogur griego. Ah, sprinkle on top for decoration. So for decoration, I think I'm going to put the yogurt on top. Okay. Might not be like this, but I don't know. 
my gut telling me that it's going to be like this. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this on top because you said as a decoration. And then queso. Mm -hmm. This is the end product. Ooh. I think it looks fine. It looks good, yes. But okay, the moment of truth. Tasting. That is it guys. Um, I don't know. I, for me, I think it looks okay. <laughs> what do you think now? You can speak English now. Okay, I think that is good. Looks good. It's a bit uh, big, the, 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 the enchilada. I'm very generous. If this was for your family, it's okay. But if this was for a restaurant, it's... I will go bankrupt soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it's okay, yeah. Um, let's taste it. I'm gonna taste it first. I'm not gonna let you taste okay. it first. Okay. I'm not gonna eat cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm just going to eat this with the tortilla and yogurt and everything. I liked it, but I would say that you might not like it because the flavor is so Thai. I'm Thai. I'm a Thai chef. <laughs> okay. No worry. But I would say that the, I would prefer like a fresh tortilla because fresh tortilla will texture is much better. From scale one to ten, I made it the first time. What are you going to rate? Mm. One to ten. I think eight. <laughs> yeah, it's salty. See? Um, because like... And the tortilla, I, I, can, yeah. I cannot feel the, the tortilla. Yeah, that, that's what I feel as well. The tortilla is uh, quite a let down, but yeah. because it's a frozen tortilla, yeah. that's the only way that he can bring tortilla to Thailand. What about the flavor of the salsa? The flavor of the sauce is, is good. But, I'm waiting for the but. <laughs> I can feel the but. I think that something left. I'm not sure what. Maybe to be in Mexico. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, but it's it's good. But like the yogurt that I've got, I got the wrong yogurt. I didn't get like the Greek yogurt. This one they said like a low-fat yogurt, but somehow it's sweet. Well, yes. Yeah, but I, but I feel like if it's like a proper Greek yogurt, it might be better than this. Oh yeah. The thing is that the sauce is aromatic as it's supposed to be. Ah, so the sauce is alright, mm -hmm. but it's too salty because I add a lot of salt. In Thai tradition, mostly we not drown stuff in the sauce like this, so we tend to make the sauce very strong. And I have that mentality while I'm making Mexican food. So I, I know straight away that it's going to be too salty when one of the steps saying like I put the salsa on top. I want it spicier. And as you oh. know that I love eating spicy food. It's very aromatic. I can smell like a really strong chili. It's very uh, smoky as well because we toast it at first. Mm -hmm. It's really good, but for me, it's lack of spiciness. Well, yes. In Mexico, if you can add more spiciness, you can add a different uh, or a combination of chili, like chili guajillo, jalapenos, mm -hmm. or even harder than uh, habanero or piquín. I will add reaper. <laughs> yeah. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please click like and subscribe to my <laughs> channel. And if you have any question or comment, please leave it down below. And don't forget, the happiness and healthiness start from your mouth. Wow. Bye!